In just one year, we have proved that dreams can come true. With a team of 23 students from different study backgrounds, we embarked on an extraordinary journey, our Hydro Motion Year. We seemed like strangers at the time, but we had one thing in common, the intrinsic motivation to combine our knowledge to demonstrate that rapid sustainable innovation needed to drive the energy transition is possible and necessary. We put our studies aside for one full year to go after this dream. Through this shared ambition, we became a team in no time. At the start, we set our goal, winning the open sea class of the Monaco Energy Boat Challenge with a foiling hydrogen powered boat. We are the two Delft Hydro Motion team, turning the tide. We made it possible that we participate in the Monaco Open Sea class. And this is not something that you just do. Hard work, dedication, that is what's, what got us here. And I'm really proud of us as a team that we have worked together to, to create this dream. I think we can make a difference uh, like in the industry. I think hydrogen uh, really has a potential for the future. And I really wanted to work with that. Yeah, it just feels great. That's uh, all the hard work that you put in an entire year. So you really you've designed and built every aspect of this boat. Yeah, it works and it functions and really you've given a lot for it. So it's, it's amazing. With building a boat in, 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 in a year and that is something I'm, I'm super proud of, but also it's almost impossible. And, and we showed that it is possible, but time is, 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 is the most precious thing. But we showed that even a year is enough to, uh, to achieve something like this. For 17 years, our foundation has inspired the maritime sector to become more sustainable by building cutting-edge boats. We have built boats sailing on the energy of the sun. We have proved the advantage of foiling. We have built monoholes and trimarans, but we felt the urgency to explore beyond that. We stepped outside our comfort zone to discover other alternative fuels and dared to make the transition to hydrogen. I think we've been able to show that at least technically it's possible and now uh, the industry has to follow in some way. Never be afraid to go against the status quo and come up with your own ideas because otherwise we won't innovate. Yeah, I think it should be really an intrinsic motivation or motivation from outside to really wanting to change because it is possible and I think we've shown that the only thing is we have to start taking action and really implementing these changes because it, it is possible and we don't have to wait any longer and we can't wait any longer. After years of conveying the urgency and enlightening about the alternatives, the industry seems to be taking off in terms of sustainable development. But the transition is slow. Looking into the future and predicting where the opportunities lie is difficult, especially in an industry where a ship that is built now is used for at least the next 30 years. So now is the time to turn the tide. Time to move the maritime industry, time to take real action and implement the sustainable alternatives that are already available.
it's really important uh, that we as young people show the maritime industry that uh, we have to change, we have to take the next step to, uh, in the energy transition. And I was amazed how we did this in one year. And a lot of companies were like, how do you do this? Can you tell us more? So all the companies want to know how we do this in just one year. And I do think everyone we have come in contact with and the major companies we have worked with have definitely been inspired by us. First of all, I think we got all eyes on us during the uh, energy boat challenge because I think a lot of people have never seen a boat foiling so stably through the waters. But with that, we also got eyes on our message and that's a greener maritime industry and a greener world. So I think uh, with that, we for sure have turned the tide. the industry, we explored alternative fuels and the latest sustainable technological innovations. In just one year, we designed, built, tested and raced a foiling hydrogen-powered boat with which we became world champions. This journey was not without its challenges. I'm, I'm really proud of uh, our team uh, for pushing so hard. Uh, a month before we went to Monaco, we had a huge setback. If I'm quite honest, I, when I heard about the crash, I, I didn't. Uh, I was uh, a bit pessimistic. But we as a team came back, got our boat foiling again, and then got our boat foiling here at the open sea. What really, really, really drives the team is yeah, the intrinsic motivation for innovation and investigating problems and solving problems. So I would say motivation is the biggest driving factor of our team. We worked together to overcome obstacles that stood in the way of our dream. And we did it. It's everything. It's when you when you start you 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 didn't really know where you signed up for, so uh, uh, you, you really know when you start doing it and it's, it's, it's amazing to do. If you have a dream, just go for it. I think hydrogen will play a significant role in the future, um, but I think more innovation will need to be done. So in general, I would say we have to, to 
push the boundaries of what is possible, also engineering wise. Because uh, it really pushes uh, new students to uh, learn a lot of things about the industry and uh, gain a lot of practical knowledge that we can use later on in life. We proved that hydrogen can be used as an energy carrier and we showed that its implementation doesn't have to be an extensive and time-consuming process. So I really think it's important to inspire the industry, not only the maritime industry, but the industry in its total. Um, because sustainability is obviously something uh, that we need to focus on right now. And I think the students can really inspire the industry. Um, we can show them what's possible in only one year. And uh, due to the contact we have with our partners and the outside world, I think uh, we can really show them um, how you can tackle this problem and how to solve it. And I think we really did that this year. Uh, I'm going to be entirely honest that at the start of this year, I thought that was a very ambitious goal. But what you see here in Monaco with the companies you're talking to, but also during the year on events, uh, I think that we did actually achieve that goal. And I'm really, really impressed with that. Uh, we can, you can talk to industry experts in the field now and they all agree that things will start to change in the near future. And that is really special uh, and something that is still a bit strange to me that we actually did that as well. And next to the fact that we built a boat, of course. It's amazing how we already see that they are looking at us and implementing the things that we want them to finally implement. They are really looking into the future because of us. Um, and it's so impressive how we as a student team are able to um, activate these, th these companies, this maritime industry. That's uh, what we want to do and we did. And that will only become bigger. Our boat Aurora is the proof that rapid sustainable innovation is possible, making our dream come true. Because more and more people are catching on. Partners are highly engaged, supporting us in every way possible and following our process and findings with great interest. Moreover, our impact extends beyond the racing track. By going through the whole cycle, we have created engineers for a sustainable future who will spread their mindset wherever they go. And not only we, but more and more students become conscious of their role as future engineers, the engineers for a sustainable future. Throughout the year, you learn so much, and at the end of the year, you have built avoiding hydrogen-powered boats. And that's, yeah, you cannot imagine how cool it is uh, to build such a thing and to see it foiling here in the waves of Monaco. And here we can show on the full screens and uh, send our footage around the world to inspire everyone who's uh, looking for new opportunities. The important thing is that we work together. There are so many people with so much knowledge and we know that it is possible and now we just have to work together to implement all of these uh, new technologies. And especially all of the engineers here, I know that they're going to go out in the world and continue with this kind of development. So I'm really hopeful for the future. I think an engineer of the, for the sustainable future is, yeah, obviously an engineer, but it's more like a mindset that you always, with everything you design, have in your mind or in the back of your mind, that uh, you know we need to go to a more sustainable world because eventually everything will have uh, its consequences and it's really important to have that mindset. It's needed to change things, uh, to tackle the climate challenges, and I also think wherever we go in our future careers, we'll have to take, we will take this mindset with us and inspire the people around us, try to motivate them as well to start changing things. Because only by doing this together, we can really make that change. We have made great strides and are heading in the right direction. The maritime sector is cooperating to find solutions together and more and more companies are investing in sustainable alternatives. The first inland vessel on hydrogen is a fact. But we are not there yet. Now is the time to follow through. 
Our journey as the 2023 team ends here, but we pass on the baton to the next team. The next team will explore the latest advancements and create an even more groundbreaking boat to prove to the industry what is possible. They will go through the complete cycle of designing, building, testing and racing, creating even more engineers for a sustainable future. Together, we will spread our sustainable mindset wherever we go. Together, we are turning the tide.